So you don't want to move where the masses are flocking to, where traffic is jammed up, where property taxes are going up, but you want a great place to call home. Hey, I've got just the answer for you. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. If you're wanting to make a change, maybe upgrade the area you live in, maybe a better school system for the kids, or you want a little bit more elbow room, then hey, I've got five hidden gems to tell you about. Let's take a look at them one at a time. Hidden gem number one. First up is the town of Cicero. It's 35 minutes north of downtown Indianapolis and even closer to Kokomo and Anderson, which means there's plenty of jobs and big city opportunities. And the unemployment, it's less than 3%. Now, 80% of the 5,300 residents own their own home. The median home value is 350,000 but one third are over 650,000 and range up into the multi-millions. The town is nestled on the north end of Morse Reservoir with its 32 miles of shoreline and 600 lakeside homes, which define this otherwise sleepy town. I get out on the lake every chance I can. I did a video on homes on the lake from the water just a few weeks ago. Check it out. Cicero has Redbridge Park and a small marina there too for the residents to enjoy. It's a great place uh, for kayakers to put in. You can also eat on the lake at the boathouse. You can either drive up or boat up, whatever your pleasure. And Main Street features many restaurants and shops. My favorite is 10 West. Be sure to get the walleye. Bear Slide Golf Course is pretty and it's pretty challenging public course. I remember following my kid around there when he was playing in high school and college tournaments. Hey, the sand traps, they can be brutal. Another place I'll like to spend time is Katiwi Park. It's a former private airstrip that's now an 800 acre county park. It has uh, horse trails, an aerial adventure, archery range, snow tubing hill, and a campground. I use it for Sunday hikes during the winter, especially. It has multiple trails. You can go all different lengths, however far you want to go. I like it because I can cut my dogs loose. I just have to kind of watch out for the horses and deer and rein them in if I see something. So yeah, I like Cicero. So if you're considering moving here, you're going to want to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Number two on our list of hidden gems is the town of McCordsville just northeast of Indianapolis. It's near the shores of Geist Reservoir, which is the state's second largest reservoir. It sports 8,600 residents, it's 10 minutes from the interstate, and it's a 25 minute drive to downtown Indianapolis. The household income is on average 96,000, and unemployment is below the national average. Children attend either the Mount Vernon School Systems or Hamilton Southeastern, both of which are rated A plus by the state. The average home is valued at 368,000, and one of the favorite homes I helped clients buy was this classic four bedroom beauty set on the back of a cul-de-sac. It had the cleanest inspection report of any property I've ever been involved with. Besides its Geist location and the boost property values get from that fact, being a next door neighbor to the much larger city of Fishers gives it all kinds of opportunities for food, fun, shopping, and jobs. Hidden gem number three, Franklin. It's 29 minutes south of downtown, but it's also only 90 minutes north of Louisville. It was home to early car manufacturers and it's now home to Toyota and Mitsubishi operations. I-65 runs along the east edge, which makes a great site for smaller manufacturing plants and distribution centers. It is the county seat, it's the home of Franklin College, and it boasts 26,000 residents. A big, big plus is it's currently witnessing a strong revival of its charming downtown. People love it. The average home price is just $256,000. I've had some really good clients in Franklin. I had some folks that just this last spring moved from Jacksonville up here, looked at many houses. We walked in this one, we looked at each other, and the offer was on paper within 30 minutes. That house had sweet hardwood floors and a cute sunroom and all for just 265. Also earlier this year, I helped a couple buy 10 acres as a future home site, as well as to build a shop for their online store, okay? I also have a home getting ready to close with uh, his mother. This was deal number five for both of them that I got to help make happen. I love repeat business. Okay, while we're on the uh, quiet, smaller size, 
it does have good big box retail outlets and a mall just 10 minutes away. Another bonus is the rural character of all the land south of here. You can find many parks and recreation areas, including the state's flagship, Brown County State Park. And I like Pisco Lake for the fast bluegill fishing. Hidden gem number four is Danville, the county seat of Hendricks County on the west side of Indy. Set just past the hustle and bustle of the first ring of suburbs like Avon, and before you get to the farmlands to the west, the median household income is 83,000 and the median house price is 295. Yet mind you, there are many homes selling for less than 150,000. There's 11,000 people and it's starting to grow. It's clean and it's fresh, and yet it's only a 35 minute drive to the Indy Circle. Hidden gem number five is Lebanon, the county seat of Boone County, which is just above the northwest corner of Indianapolis. It sits along I-65 and makes a great home for small manufacturing plants and distribution centers. There are still more jobs available in nearby Carmel in the northwest corner of Indy with its larger plants and commercial centers. The population is 17,200. The median home value is 244, but there's a very large number of homes under 100,000. I think this is about to change. A recent flip that I helped a client buy on Henry Street for just $100,000 then had a contractor I recommended who did an awesome job. The house sold quickly and at a profit for 265,000. It was this investor's first flip and so he was particularly happy camper. The key takeaway from our conversation about these five hidden gems is you get more house for less money. Plus, they offer up a slower pace and a smaller environment, if you will. These five hidden gems don't get all the press that the inner ring suburbs do, but then again, they're just fine with that. Okay, enough said. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Share this with all your friends whenever you're talking real estate. I can help with a home, a land, a building site, a commercial property, or an investment property. I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do a tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.